Today, we're tackling a topic that's been causing some frustration among credit card applicants, getting denied for a new credit card. Don't worry, we've got your back. In this video, we'll explore what you can do if you find yourself in this situation. Plus, we'll share some valuable tips to help you increase your chances of getting approved. So grab a seat and let's dive in. So why are more people experiencing credit card rejections these days? Well, it turns out that banks have become stricter in issuing credit cards to new consumers. Some credit card issuers like Discover Financial Services have even publicly stated that they are offering fewer cards to new customers since the pandemic began. But fret not. There are three steps you can take to improve your chances of getting approved for a credit card, even if you face initial rejection. Step one, ask to be reconsidered. If you're denied a credit card, the lender is usually obligated to inform you of the reason behind the decision. They might also reveal which credit bureau they use to evaluate your credit worthiness. Take advantage of this information by obtaining a free copy of your credit report and checking for any errors that could have led to your rejection. For example, let's say you were denied a credit card due to an error on your credit report, such as a late payment that you actually made on time. In this case, you can call the lender's reconsideration line and provide evidence of your timely payment. This can give them a fresh perspective on your application and increase your chances of approval. Step two, get a secured credit card. If reconsideration doesn't work out, a secured credit card can be a great alternative. While it may not be as glamorous as an unsecured credit card, secured cards are generally easier to obtain. Let's say you're a college student with limited credit history and you've been denied a traditional credit card. In this case, getting a secured credit card can be a smart move. By putting down a security deposit, you'll establish a credit limit and build your credit history responsibly. Over time, this can open doors to more favorable credit card offers. Step three, work on your credit score. Improving your credit score will boost your chances of getting approved for future credit cards. One way to start is by checking your credit reports from Equifax, Experian, and TransUnion for any errors. Correcting inaccuracies, especially those related to your payment history, can make a significant difference. Imagine you discover a mistake on your credit report. It shows a missed payment that never actually happened. By filing a dispute with the credit bureau and providing supporting evidence, such as bank statements or receipts, you can get that error rectified. This can positively impact your credit score, making you a more attractive candidate for credit card approvals. Additionally, consider requesting a credit limit increase on your existing credit cards. This can lower your credit utilization ratio, which is a key factor in determining your credit score. Even though it's less likely to get an increase than before the pandemic, don't be discouraged. If you've been responsible with your card, it's worth asking. Let's say you've been using your current credit card responsibly, making timely payments and keeping your balances low. You can contact your credit card issuer and request a credit limit increase. By demonstrating your financial responsibility, you'll show them that you can handle more credit. This can positively impact your credit utilization ratio and improve your chances of approval for future credit cards. And there you have it, folks. Three steps to take if you're denied a new credit card. Remember to ask for reconsideration, consider a secured credit card, and work on improving your credit score. By implementing these strategies, you'll increase your chances of getting approved and open up new financial opportunities. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more finance tips tailored to you. Thanks for watching and until next time, stay financially savvy.